Welcome to another edition of... What We're Cooking! That's right, I'm Al. I'm Nick. And today we are going to be preparing the Zuni Cafe Chicken. Again, folks really loved it. They wanted me to do it one more time to kind of explain it. So this is pretty simple. Uh, but in the meantime, we're also doing, Nick... Sweet potatoes. And... Uh, broccoli. Cauliflower. That's right. Same, same family. So come back over to the chicken. This is a chicken that I prepared... On Sunday, I salted it. That's why I asked you why you were having it. That's right. Uh, I put uh, uh, sage and rosemary under the skin and into the cavity, salted, peppered, lightly covered in the fridge. The salt comes, draws the moisture in and then releases it. And that's why this thing is so plump. And so we start Here's Zuni Cafe Chicken again. Folks really loved it. They wanted me to do it one more time to kind of explain it. So this is pretty simple. Uh, but in the meantime, we're also doing, Nick... Sweet potatoes. And? Uh, broccoli. Cauliflower. That's right. Same, same family. So come back over to the chicken. This is a chicken that I prepared on Sunday. I salted it. That's why I asked you why you were having it. That's right. Uh, I put uh, uh, sage and rosemary under the skin and into the cavity, salted, peppered, lightly covered in the fridge. The salt comes, draws the moisture in and then releases it. And that's why this thing is so plump. And so we start. Okay, I put it in the pan, breast side up. And now it goes in the oven at 450. For 30 minutes. Thank you, Nick. Now the chicken's gonna take a little while. It's 30 minutes breast side up, then 15 minutes breast side down, then 10 minutes breast side up. So we have plenty of time to prep our other dishes. So we're gonna do the sweet potatoes. Little. Is it okay that I'm doing the sweet potatoes and looking at it like this? Or do you want your, do you want the... No, the, no, that's good. You're doing a great job. Uh -huh. Okay, so a little a few drugs of olive oil. And this is a local syrup. Friends of ours do this syrup. It's the Laurel Mountain Hollow Maple Syrup. It's a local syrup. And so we put some of that on. And then we're going to do some sea salt. Sometimes I use that for... Sometimes I... When we were back in the city, I used that syrup for my pancakes. That's right. It's very tasty. And then some black pepper. And then we finish it up with a little ground cinnamon. We mix it all up. And this goes into the oven at... 350. For... 30 minutes. 30, 40. Next, we're going to do the cauliflower. Again, a few gloves of... Spanish olive oil. Or Zoe olive oil. That's right, Zoe. I'm going to throw on some uh, Daria the Butcher sea salt. That's right. And what's this? Some pepper flakes. Yep. And then give this Zhuzh around. At 350. Well, it's a little hotter. Oh. Cool. All right. Another first toss around. Now, I've got to flip this over. Now it goes back in for another 15 minutes. minutes. Rest side up. Down. Down. Rest side down. You got me confused. I'm sorry. This will be our last flip. That smells pretty dang good there. Thank you, son. Uh, so this will end up another 10 minutes. Rest side up. Can we check on the cauliflower? Uh, okay, we'll do that. Hold on. Cauliflower's looking pretty good. How are they looking, Dan? What do you think? They're pretty looking pretty good. Yeah, they should be ready just about the time the chicken is, because the chicken's got another 10 minutes. Nick, count us off. What do we have? The Zuni Cafe roasted chicken. Uh-huh. Cauliflower. Yes. Sweet potatoes mm -hmm. and salad. Very nice. So, again, another day, and that's another edition of What We're Cooking.
working. I'm out. I'm Nick, and I'm not going away because I take these things in. Followed by my helpers. And now, let's take these things in to the dining room.